Вот и начался наш первый день влога. Мы приехали в компанию Google. Здесь сейчас соберутся топ-100 лучших а, стартапов в Восточной Азии, где произойдет небольшая экскурсия и нетворкинг-сессия. Hello, Darren. Nice to Hello. meet you. Good afternoon. Good meeting you. Uh, I'm curious about, just tell us about the Google. How did you get that? How is this life, how it's working here? Okay, so I joined Google more than two years ago. I've worked in other companies before joining Google. I never imagined I'll be working in Google. Never thought of it before. I thought this, this company is so hard to get into. I didn't come from a very fancy school. So I, I got in because I was working in LinkedIn before this, another tech company, and I got a referral from a friend who used to work in LinkedIn, moved to Google and referred me to a role in Google. So, referrals are very important to get into companies like Google or Facebook or any other company. You know, mm -hmm. People you know want referrals are very important. Googlers are always very well fed. You will not find coke or a lot of unhealthy foods, so we try to keep people eating healthy. They also lower healthcare costs and everyone's feeling happier and healthier also. about the whole office? How many people working here? More than 2,000 employees in the Singapore office. In Very Singapore. big. So Singapore is our Asia HQ. What is the most exciting thing about this office? The most exciting thing about this office is that we have a lot of software engineers. Mm -hmm. So in my previous companies, it was mostly a sales and marketing, or just a corporate office. Here we have a lot of software engineers. They're actually building products for our customers. Mm -hmm. So it's very exciting talking to a product manager or software engineer, sharing some ideas. And a few months later, you see an idea come come out in the product. That's very cool. Wow. It's so that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Working in this office. How to get to Google? How to get to Google? You've got to think of the four things that we look for when we hire a candidate. So every we've got four rounds of interviews now when we hire someone. The first thing we look for is, we call them general cognitive ability. Mm -hmm. Another way of saying is problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you solve problems well? So I'll give you an example of a problem solving skill. So imagine, I may ask you as an interviewer, okay. You are a startup founder, you got Series B funding, I've just given you a million dollars, how will you spend it and why? Mm -hmm. So that's an example of a problem solving question. Okay. The second thing we look for in someone is someone with good leadership ability. Leadership doesn't mean you're managing a team, it also means how you're leading yourself in school, at work and outside of work as well. So are you someone who, when you face a problem, go forward and try to solve the problem and not step away? Mm -hmm. That's what we mean by leadership. The third thing we look for is Googliness. Googliness is our culture. So mm -hmm. someone who is collaborative, is not trying to be a one-man show, not too solo. It's not a like Wolf of Wall Street kind of mm -hmm. culture. Another big part of Googliness is someone who is very hungry, but also very humble. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy to find someone who's hungry and humble. You normally find either or, but find both together is hard. How startups can communicate with Google in order to be supported? Okay. So Google does a lot of different things for, with startups. The, the first one is our ads business. Mm -hmm. So our ads business helps startups to find new customers, mm -hmm. to build a brand. Every startup, you want to build your brand, your key customers, you want to build investor confidence, you've got to do marketing. And it's where Google helps startups with marketing. Mm -hmm. And the second thing we heard today from the cloud team is powering all your infrastructure, making sure that your apps are able to scale well, helping you grow very quickly, you don't have to worry about servers.
Вот и закончилась наша экскурсия в компании Google. И для себя мы сегодня вынесли три самые важные вещи. Первое. Google всегда ищет и нанимает очень талантливых и креативных людей и создает им самые лучшие условия для работы. Второе. В данном офисе Google работает более двух тысяч человек, которые создают и формируют особую корпкультуру, где каждый сотрудник придерживается здорового образа жизни, где на каждом этаже можно найти свежие фрукты и овощи, где каждый работник работает и живет по гибкому графику. Поэтому из Google практически никто не уходит, поскольку ребята тут очень легко совмещают работу, личную жизнь и спорт. Третье. Касательно стартап экосистем. Google активно по всему миру поддерживает и развивает стартап экосистемы. Компания везде ищет и находит талантливых разработчиков и предпринимателей, которые вместе пытаются создать что-то новое, что-то уникальное. У Google есть три программы развития стартапов. Первое – это Google Launchpad, второе – Google for Entrepreneurs и третье – Google Cloud Startup Program, о которых более подробно вы можете узнать на Z-Journal. Вторая компания, которую мы сегодня посетили – это HubSpot. HubSpot, если в двух словах, это компания, которая настраивает стартапам автоматизированную воронку продаж, своего рода CRM-систему. Второе, чем занимается эта компания, это развитие стартапов в плане продаж, маркетинга и customer сервиса Резюмируя, HubSpot – это как фитнес-зал для стартапа. Вы покупаете абонемент и получаете все инструменты и консультацию от экспертов для того, чтобы прокачать свой бизнес.